100 meters undefeated in lead play as Marshall hits the jump shot and we got a technical foul. Santa Clara has not done a good job of controlling their emotions. It's understandable because they got down to such a big deficit early, but get another look at it. Barry crashes the offensive glass. There's, and Tom crashes just the glass. Him. Tom just pushes him. I mean, yeah. some of those are just frustration fouls. Frustration fouls, and again, you gotta control your emotions much better than that. Now, I don't think that's a flagrant two. No, I would agree. I, I right? think you that would just, should just him. be. Yeah. You're gonna take another look at it. I would imagine it is just a, a flagrant one. But again, if your tongue. You have to expect a guy like Barrett, if you're blocking out in that area, he's going to be a pest. He's going to be physical. you got to expect the contact. Uh, to me, is yes, a flagrant one. Yep. Here comes Vern Harris. Technical foul. Okay. Is what official Vern Harris explained it as. Tully shaking his head, doesn't agree with it, but I mean, again, it comes down to just control your emotions. The physical contact from Barrett. The So Vern Harris explained, because the ball went in, then it's a dead ball, and so the contact there, had there been live ball action going on, could have been a flagrant one. Vern Harris, one of the best in the business. Referees deep into the NCAA tournament every single year. Right on top of it. So 60 to 39 after the free throws. 